In this experiment, um, we're going to have a look at the reactivity of some different metals with dilute acid. So we've got four test tubes. Each of them have a small amount of dilute hydrochloric acid. And into each of these test tubes, I'm going to place a small amount of a metal. And we'll look for any evidence of a chemical reaction. So in the first test tube, I'm going to add just a little bit of copper. So there's the copper. And no evidence of any chemical reaction there. Any little bubbles in there are just due to um, little bits of air being trapped around those copper turnings. In the second test tube, I'm going to put a little bit of iron. And again, we'll look for evidence of any chemical reaction. So the iron filings here, just put into the acid there. In the next test tube, I'm going to put um, a small amount of zinc. And in the last test tube, I'm going to put um, a small amount of magnesium. Um, magnesium not as powder, but as magnesium turnings. And I'm also just going to pop a boiling tube over the top of that to trap the gas that's produced. You can immediately see there is a difference in reactivity. So the magnesium is definitely reacting fastest. The zinc and the iron at the moment look to be behaving in a fairly similar way. And as expected, there's no visible reaction there with the copper. We'll just leave those for um, a couple of minutes. What I would say is that the test tube with the magnesium in is also quite warm. Um, so it's showing us that the reaction is giving off some heat energy. Um, these other ones don't feel that warm, um, but they um, will be slightly warmer. So the chemical reaction between a metal and acid produces a salt. So if we're using hydrochloric acid, we'll produce the chloride salt. And we can obviously see that a gas is being produced as well. Um, so quite rapid effervescence with the, the magnesium. The gas is going to be hydrogen. And so to test that hydrogen, I'm just going to um, take the gas which I've collected in the in the boiling tube there. And we'll test it with a lit splint. And definitely a positive result there for hydrogen with that squeaky pop. So the magnesium will have produced magnesium chloride and hydrogen. Zinc is producing zinc chloride and hydrogen. The iron is producing iron chloride and hydrogen. And the copper is not reacting. So copper is less reactive than the acid. And therefore, there is no chemical reaction there. The zinc is reacting slightly faster than the iron, and so therefore we can deduce that the zinc is more reactive than iron. There's slightly faster effervescence there from the zinc. And so that's the order of reactivity for these four metals using and comparing their reactions with hydrochloric acid. We saw in a previous video that with water, 
magnesium hardly reacted at all, although it did react with, um, with steam quite, quite quickly. So um, magnesium then is the slowest metal reacting with water that we observed, but the fastest of these four with acid. And that's the use of acid to deduce an order of reactivity for metals.